right, Craft Warehouse followers. We are making some Christmas gnomes now. So I have this holiday collection wool felt squares. They are a six by six. You get two of each color. Let's just throw these down here so you can see all the colors. Nice, beautiful, dark green. Oh my gosh, I love the greens. We got a nice little cream and white, kind of a burgundy maroon color, and then two different reds. So we got a brighter red and a darker red. Oh my gosh, these are just really cute. Um, I also have some really cute snowflakes here. Look at the detail of those. And they are all different, so cute. We have our eight millimeter wooden nose, and then our pom-pom, so two white and one of this gray guy. And I also have some scissors with me and my hot glue gun. Now you can also use fabric tack. It will give you a little bit more flexibility when you are um, gluing and trying to maneuver your hat. But I like the hot glue, so what I have at home. I also did pick up a few other things in the store. So, I came across some other buttons, like how cute is this button, the Holly Jolly Christmas, that would look so cute on a red hat. And then, if you are a glitter person, I don't know if you can see that, but these are glittery snowflakes. How fun, I love it. Um, again, I can, these are what I'm gonna be using today, but there's so many other options. And we have so many more felt pieces that I could go ahead and create an extra number two. So let's get started. I mean, I have to do a traditional little red hat here. And I'm a little bit torn between these two greens. So I might have to decide there. And then I really like this maroon one. All right, you guys, I chose my three colors. Since I have these two kind of reddish colors, I'm gonna pop those guys on both the white ones and have those sitting on the outside and have my green one for my darker one. So let's go ahead and get started. So with this felt piece, all you're gonna do is fold it over and make a triangle. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take our hot glue or your fabric tack and just run it right along the corner all the way to the end. And then I'm just gonna fold it right back over and press down. From here, I do kind of wanna curve my hat and do a little bit of trimming. So, I'm just gonna start from this side that I did not glue down and just trim it all the way back, nice and clean. And then it leaves your hat coming at a little point. So let's get our white palm over here. And what I'm gonna do is just put some glue on the outside, right here on the edge, all the way around. And then I wanna make sure my little stretchy thing is right in the center and will be hidden by the hat. And I just wanna pull this down as far as I can. All right. And then I'm gonna come in with my wood beads. This is an eight millimeter bead, but you can use up to a 10. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little daub of glue. And then I'm gonna tuck it right underneath. The little hat there so he's nice and kind of hidden just poking out look how cute now let's open up these snowflakes so I'm gonna lay these on some felt so you guys can see them as I work I have all these snowflakes to play with so I definitely think I'm gonna put two on and then we'll kind of go from there so I might Put, I think I'm going to put them right there. 
Yeah, I like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little hot glue right in the center or your fabric cap, whatever you are working with. And then I'm gonna go ahead again with my other snowflake, just a little hot glue. And just push them right on down. And we have one gnome completed. How cute. Something else that would be really cute to do is to add a little pom-pom on here. Maybe I could sew on the bead since I'm gonna have a bunch of extra beads. But let's go ahead and set this one to the side for now. Now we're gonna come in with our other white one. So we're gonna fold up this maroon hat. Just again, making that triangle. Gonna put that hot glue corner to corner. Again, I have my hot glue set on a low heat so I'm not burning my fingers if I have any come over the edge like this. Um, I am also, I clean that up because I don't want to have that showing on my hat. All right, so we are gonna trim this again. So let's let's start over here on this side, again, the non-sewed side. And we're just gonna go all the way over. So see how it's going down again? I could kind of cut up a little bit more on this hat to give it a tad more even look. Now I could also go up a little bit further and do a little notch so that I have a spot for the nose, but I'm gonna do it a little bit more even this time and then we'll play around with it. So again, I'm gonna get my palm ready. I wanna make sure that stretchy part is up and I'm gonna put hot glue around the edge. Now I'm not gonna do all the way over for the nose yet. Because I might tuck my nose in a little bit further or fold it back. So I'm just going to slide it right over the palm and slide it down as far as I can. All right. And then I was thinking on this one, it might be kind of cute to fold the hat back just a tad just like that. So I'm gonna put a little daub of glue right on the inside and fold it up and just hold it there. How cute is that? All right, so now I'm gonna come in with my nose and I'm gonna put it right underneath there. A little daub of hot glue. So I wanna make sure I'm not showing that hole on the bead. All right. So now I'm gonna come in with some snowflakes on this guy. And I think I might put about three of them on here. And kind of lay them like this. I think that's really cute. So I'm gonna just put a little hot glue and place it on the hat. I'm actually gonna switch one of these out because there's three different styles snowflakes, so I wanna make sure I'm getting all my snowflakes represented. And then the hot glue on this last one. Oh, how fun. All right. Now I'm gonna set him to the side and we're gonna do our final gnome. And that's our gray pom-pom. And we're gonna be doing the green on this one. So we're gonna fold it over making that triangle corner to corner. And then I'm just gonna take the hot glue all the way. And then I'm gonna fold it over. All right. Now, I'm gonna cut from this side. And I wanna kind of arch this up just a tad more. So I'm gonna snip it just like that. And see how that hat just goes up a tad more? It's gonna round out this corner. 
See how that just kind of bows right on up. So I'm going to get my gnome over here, my palm. So I have this stretchy part facing up and I'm just going to take my hot glue all the way around the edge of my hat. And then we're going to put it right on our pom pom. And kind of pull it down as far as we can. So when I do that, I kind of hold the edges and then I push the bottom of the palm up as far as I can. And then we're going to come in with that wood nose and we're going to put them right right in that little slip there. How cute is that? Ah, oh, I just love these gnomes. All right, so I got some snowflakes here and I can place them however I want. Maybe I'll kind of throw, maybe we'll put four on this guy and then we'll add a couple extra on that last, that first one. So let's go ahead, just putting hot glue on all of them. Oops. Making sure they're sticking. And again, you can mix these with other buttons as well. It doesn't just have to be snowflakes. I really think that holly would look really darling on one of these. I do have an extra gnome with me, so maybe I'll have to play with one. Okay, so I'm going to bring that first one in, and I'm going to put a couple more snowflakes on here. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. So gonna push him right there. And then I'm gonna push this right here. Get rid of any of my stringies. Alright, you guys. Now look. I have three different little gnome gnomes. Now, if I wanted to, I can try to adjust their hats by just kind of going like that and they'll have a different look. But something I really like to do is kind of maneuver the felt how I want it and go ahead and just glue it down. So I'm gonna maneuver this hat how I would like it. Um, let's see. I think I want it to kind of scrunch to this side here. So, I kind of like it being wonky. That's just a personal preference. You could completely leave it how it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little glue here. So just a little hot glue, nothing crazy, and just gonna fold it and hold it. So now this hat will stay put like that. It's gonna have a little bit more character. Um, I'm thinking what I wanna do is have my two red hats kind of going opposite ways. So I think I'm gonna glue this hat down a little bit on this back side here. So I'm just gonna slightly fold it here and glue it. So let's put a little hot glue right here Let's go ahead and fold that hat and just hold it. So I want to hold it until I know that glue is nice and secure and isn't going to be moving on me. And then I can kind of fluff my hat out from there. All right, you guys, look at these gnomes. Let's move this and let's bring this last one in. How fun. I like it. Gluing the hat, having them go different directions just adds a little bit of character. Now, again, we have all this extra felt, so I could go ahead and make another gnome. Maybe I want a little brown gnome. Um, and I think it, again, I love these. I think it'd be so cute to add these on a hat. I might have to come and add it on this red hat. Um, now, we do also have other felt squares. So we have a spring collection. It's got all these yummy spring colors. And then we have a lights collection. So it's got some fun little bright colors in there too. Now these I think would be awesome and I could make some summertime or some camping gnomes. 
and like how cute would it be to make a little camping gnome and have like a little trailer on his hat with a tree or summertime throwing in some of those watermelons i mean heck you could even use from this winter holiday collection this darker green and throw in these little watermelons on there how fun even be cute for this camping one or i mean you can't have gnomes without mushrooms so you could throw these little mushrooms on there the options are endless um we all know somebody who loves gnomes and these guys are just really cute and fun to make with your loved ones all right you guys i need to go change these gnomes out for my fall gnomes and get to decorating for winter thank you guys for following mm -hmm.